Previously on Status London. Hey, it's Siobhan. Listen, I really need your help. Like, like today, I'm not seeing any lip gloss anymore. No, I don't do lip gloss, I do Vaseline. <laughs> So I received a call from my homegirl Lorraine who said she wanted to discuss a few things with me. Lorraine's another friend who I've got time for. So yeah, let's do it. Lorraine, what's happening? I'm good, how are you? Not too bad, what was your history? Oh, I know Shay's gonna kill me and I would have loved to have gone, but um, I actually came back from Turkey like the day before. Yeah, I saw you on Instagram flexing, I saw you. <laughs> so oh, right. see, I, wasn't, I wasn't doing what you think yeah, I was doing. I, play. I saw the likes, I saw the, the weird eye emojis and everything. <laughs> so what's happening? Nothing much. I wanted to kind of talk to you about um, BD, Bloggers Delight, yeah. and kind of like your involvement in it, whether or not you'd be interested in kind of taking part. I've never done nothing like that before. So, something different, out of my comfort zone. That sounds interesting. Nerve, nerve wracking, but interesting. I think you'd be good for it. Definitely got personality. I know you like to chat, so it's definitely the platform for you, I guess. Oh. Shots it fired. <laughs> it's the truth, and it is kind of out of your kind of box. I know yeah. you do lots of parties and things like that. Yeah. So. so who have you had in the past? Okay, so we've had um, Simone Bresciando from um, I'm Possible. We've had Ace from One Extra. We've had Rich Black. Um, nice. Also had um, a boxing promoter by the name of Spencer Ferrum. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know what would be sick if you had a boxer? Well, actually, we're looking to get um, a boxer by the name of um, Seb Newbanks, who's also, um, he does poetry as well. Oh, yeah, I met Seb. Yeah. Melody sent him down to my party the other day. Mad cool, but he does poetry. Yeah, I think he'd be good for you. I know you do like a poetry night, right? Yeah. That, interesting. Poetry, a poetry boxer. Yeah, you nice. can come down, get to meet him. Yeah. Oh, okay, sick. So, so who else have who else have you got in the panel? Okay, so there's another guy called um, David. Um, David so guys goes by the name of uh, Mr. Gorgeous. Oh, why are you rolling your eyes like that? That brother, what does he do? <laughs> like what what is he? What's the problem? Yeah. Or is it gonna be your problem? Just don't get that guy. What, what don't you get? I don't know, like something creepy about it. I don't know, man. I just don't get him. Like, what does he do? Who is he? What? I just don't get him. Man about town, just like yourself, no? Correction. I'm, <laughs> I'm a promoter, so I'm allowed to be around town. When you come down, maybe speak to him and you can find out. How about that? I think I'm busy all of a sudden now. Oh, don't play. Don't busy. be like that. You all know right, you've got to come right, down to Bloggers right. Delight. All right, all right. I got you. Yeah? We're fine. So, I can say you're going to sign up, yeah? Yes, I am confirmed. I'll be there. Cool. All right. Well, I look forward to seeing you then. All right. All right. Nice one. So I've agreed to go on her panel at her Blogger's Delight event. Yes, David's on the panel. But because of Lorraine, I agreed to do it. She actually confirmed in my head that having Seb at my next event is a good thing to do. So you know what? I'm doing it. The double denim, you know. It takes a certain type of person to be able to pull it off. You sure? I'm absolutely positive. I'm being serious. Yeah. No well, sarcasm. I am a cowboy, so I think I'm the right person for the job. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> I get dubbed for it sometimes. People try to dub my double denim, but try, man. So people like to insult what they don't understand. Exactly. It's working for you. Now, I've been thinking a lot lately about building my brand and the direction that I want to take it. And somebody who has done that amazingly is my friend J2K. So I'm going to go and meet up with him, go to the Crep Protect offices, sit down, have a chat, and he can give me some advice on how to build a brand, which he has done so perfectly. So what have you been up to? Uh, just grinding, you know. I just got back from my Ibiza, which was an yeah. eventful trip. Um, I had a couple of gigs out there. I was mm -hmm. just 
hustling as you do. Mm. Um, that's all this is, isn't it? It's a hustle. That's probably. all it is. I like it. Mm. But um, you do know what? You've kind of been on my mind. I saw you um, at Jump Off and mm. like, you just saying how yeah. well everything was going. And I just, I've got an idea in my head that I think is a really strong idea that yeah. I want to bring to fruition. And it, you know, it's, it's, it's all about creating a brand as you've done. Yeah. And I don't know, I just really, kind of the hurdles that I'm thinking I may come across, you seem like you've just embraced them and just got on with it. So yeah. tell me more about the idea, man. But yeah, so just, I've, I've been thinking about ways to try and combine like the fitness and the DJ and I've got loads of ideas yeah. kind of running around in my head. I've got a clear idea, I think, of where I want it to go, but I do sort of struggle with the taking it from the idea and, yeah, and, and then making it. that, manifesting it into a brand, which is obviously what yeah. you've done so well. With Crep Protect. Yeah, but I mean, like, like those are your passions, though, innit? Mm. Your training and your music, so yeah. you will figure it out because, like I said, this is my passion. Mm. Like, trainers, maintenance, mm. you know, <laughs> like, fashion and things like, you know, I'm not a fashion head, but, like, I just like to keep things neat and tidy. Mm. But this is my passion, innit? So I've just been able to adopt what I've done from music to this, yeah. like, you know, music, style. Do you know what I mean? So my advice, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, it would be just to be persistent with everything that you're doing. I be can do ready. persistence. Yeah, exactly. I can see you do persistence, you <laughs> get me? So, yeah, just be persistent with it, like, and just be in people's faces, be ready to demonstrate when you can, and, and you know, and that's it. And that's really it. Be everywhere. Like, be you know? everywhere. Be like everywhere. That. I know they probably say that, but you got to really do it, you know what I mean? In this game, it comes down to a few principles. How good you are and who you know. So, you know, I'm sitting down with Mr. Play. He's a good, like, I like Mr. Play. He's a good guy. He knows his stuff, you know? So, as much as my family is always behind me and my team, love that, you've got to have your own connections. So sitting down with a guy like Mr. Play is always beneficial, you know? And he's a cool guy as well, so it makes life easier. Bang Radio, Play Entertainment, we're in the building. So guess what we're going to do right now, Jay? We're going to introduce... My gosh. Right now in the studio, can we make some noise? Go on. The United States. Wow. Dennis, Tracy Steele, <laughs> y'all. Make some noise in the studio. Yeah. 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 What's happening, Tracy? What's Hi. happening? <laughs> what up? What up? Oh my God, I'm so happy to be here. You know what? I, you know what? When I got here, what I did not know is that um, so many people watch Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I didn't know that. So people were stopping me. Oh my God, can I get a picture? One girl was crying. I mean, it's. I didn't know it was like that out here. So it's super dope. So Tracy, the party. How was it? Yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember some of that. I was super drunk, but it was great. I had a really great time, and I want to thank you for it. That birthday cake. Oh, that dress. That dress. I want to thank you. Don't talk about my dress. Leave that out of the picture. The dress. <laughs> but on a serious note, yeah. let's talk about business. Are you, so, are you? What's your thoughts of expanding over in the UK? Well, I, I'm gonna try to come back as much as I can to get the still pretty brand out there, get more women buying the dress and buying, yeah, yeah. buying my products and stuff like that. So I think I just need to keep coming back. Yeah. And that's it. Good job. I'm gonna make it happen. We're gonna make it happen, right? Yeah. Good job. Team still. <laughs> Good job. Yo, play. What's going on, bro? What's happening, big man? Good. What's yeah, happening, man? Yeah. Bro. Yeah. What are you doing around here, though? What? No, I'll come to see you, man. Bro, you don't ever come and check me. Well, Tracy's here. So that's why you're here. Love, love. There's love. There's love. We should share the love. Share so what's the love. going on, man? How's the shows and that? I'm good, man. I'm good. Just putting in work, man. I heard about the poetry thing coming up. Yes. Basically, Travis is a... Is a Comedian, stroke poet now. Oh, dope. Yeah, I mean, I don't like the title because it's just something I'm dabbling with, but yeah, I'm getting into poetry a little bit. So, the mixer you went to? Yeah, I was there, man. It was it was good, but all the girls from the industry. You had Jade, Amanda, Melody, like... Right, it's a call to kind of fast speed you. Basically, he went to a, a mingles night, basically a singles night. So, Siobhan's business. Mrs. Hitched. Personally, I find it hard to kind of take advice about relationships from someone who's single. Um, he met a few ladies who happen to be in the industry, but he's just... What's your take on dating in the industry? I wouldn't do it. 
um, it's probably easier because the person knows what you're going through and mm. they understand if you come home late nights they get it versus mm. like a teacher who's like what the hell yeah, you come yeah. home at five in the morning this is this doesn't work for me but I wouldn't do it I would find someone who is who um, is not starstruck yeah uh, to at level. first yeah yeah, yeah. 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 I hear that. and who would um, humble you in a sense too because sometimes your fans will make you feel bigger than you really are and that your partner that person that you're with can shut you down like listen yeah the reality you is. ain't really who you think you are you know yeah. so i don't th i don't really see that you need to go to mixers and mix like why do you, do you feel like i'm good looking enough to <laughs> you are a see, what, see what just happened well, no, no, I, I, saw. I, I mean being a comedian, don't think these hoes be throwing themselves at you? You know, them little popcorn I, hoes just be popping around everywhere. I, I, <laughs> I tend not to call them hoes. <laughs> oh, I mean, oh, you don't? Oh, no, no, no. You can go to church and find your girl. Hey, I want to go to the, li <laughs> <laughs> I wanna go to the library. The quiet, smart girls, that's where it's at. Dating in the industry always sounds like a nice idea. But the reality is, it, it's not really the greatest. And getting a normal girl is like, I don't know, 9 to 5 or whatever. She won't understand that either. But they swear they do. They swear blind that they can handle it. They're attracted to what they to what they saw until they became in the surroundings. So they saying. myth afterwards. And women like Tracy come up to me going, Oh, I loved your show. <laughs> That's when they would ask me questions. <laughs> women like me. <laughs> how do you know her? They'd be on Instagram and said, Hold on, I know she liked 20 minutes ago. <laughs> You know you gotta tell that line, it's like, babe, I like everybody's <laughs> Just <laughs> spell it. <laughs> Did you like Tracy's dress, though? I see you liked her dress. Oh. <laughs> Barely. <Barely. laughs> I don't know, it's hard. It's gonna be, it's gonna get even worse the bigger you get. Yeah. And the more celebrity that you get, the more fame that you get, it's gonna get worse. True. So, just gotta find that girl who is understanding. I know it's not easy, but you gotta, she, she's out there. Somewhere. Yeah, I know. She, is. she ain't even replied. Like, when I tweet Rihanna, it's like she doesn't even <laughs> recognize me as an option. You know what I'm saying? But she see you. She's waiting. She <laughs> now, although it may seem because, you know, my family is connected to the industry, my mother, Angela Ma, my father's connected to the music industry, that I get a lot of hook ups. It's not really the case. You know, my mother, we worked together for the first time for my one man show. She directed it. The first time. Five years. She said to me early on in my career, you have to to live it, you have to experience everything, otherwise you won't grow. I've had to deal with the tough crowds. They don't laugh at your jokes, you go home feeling terrible, feel like, should I even do this anymore? One time I can't even, I cried after a gig. I went home, stayed up all night and I wrote 45 minutes of new material to perform the next day because I had to find out if I still had it in me. You understand, you have to live that. Nobody can give you that experience. In this game, you gotta make your own connections, you gotta make your own way.